Can I? Can I? Can I smoke and strong? Can I money long? But can't drink alcohol? What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Master So here, leader of the Master Mace of the Round Table of Company One. Subscribe and hit the spin move, because you know what's up. Okay, so maybe in hindsight, my previous video of the first show out and first Isekai I decided to view this year, maybe, uh... In case that doesn't go over well, just take this as my official, or apology, video. World of Lee Dale. Lee Dale. I don't know. Episode 1. Now, this show starts off as Isekai's normally we do. Main character dad woke up fucked up. But like the previous show I reviewed, this character woke up in a game they once played. Except this is different where this character has to play this game for quite some time. Now I'm talking about the previous life she had, not the 200 year times could do it. And really thinking about it, there's a handful of isekai, isekais out there that I watched that really doesn't start like that. Yes, the character died. But waking up in the previous game they played, interesting. And our character comes back to the old character they had and stuff with all their stats and everything in it. So they are overpowered in their own words. But be completely honest, this show has a lot of characteristics of Overlord. Main character in the game, overpowered as hell. Started off looking for the old crew but couldn't find them. And even spends moments early on revisiting stuff from the past time they played their game that they're hilariously ashamed of. Now, I will say this. When it comes to this show, World of Leedale, it's not exactly a show that you should take seriously. And what I mean that by that is, they, I dive into this episode, I guess, really, in hindsight, ready to hate on it. I was looking for certain tones, looking for certain things to be taken seriously, looking for things that just to call out, be like, why are you doing this instead of this? What kind of show you think this is? And not only would that made me the worst reviewers on YouTube, there's a lot of hell, it really doing stuff like that blocks your perspective. I actually appreciate the series for what it is. The reason this show shouldn't be taken seriously is because the show doesn't take itself seriously. I'm not going to flat out call it a gag series, but the show treats itself as a comedy. Really more so of a slice of life. And once you get into that and understand that, it's not the fact that there's more stuff in the series to like, it's really there's less stuff in the series to hate. I mean, on surface, I'm very character, there's nothing wrong with it. It's very a reactory series, because her reactions to everything is legitimately funny. And the main dish is her going through the motions of this game right in the beginning, of how it's changed in 200 years, because she hasn't played it in a minute, but the time, time passes is not the same. So she's understanding the world she wants new. Certain plot points like that outside of it, Isakai would have been good. And I gotta be honest, the past before she died, there's not a lot to it, but it's interesting. They didn't ever flat out say it, but they were straight up gave you enough hints that if you don't recognize it, you wouldn't even slap it. When she had her first meal, and she ate like hell, and they asked what she used to eat. And she was talking about she was IV on IVs and everything. When she was mentioning she didn't exercise for a long time. Straight out the gate of the episode, she talking about, wait, I can move my legs? Candace's past life was her in a hospital bed, living on IVs and pupils, not able to move. And very sucks to say, apparently the hospital had a power outage and the power was out long enough for her. Well, rather the power didn't come back in time and she died. That's a scary thing to think about. Like you live off the hospital's power and anything wasn't happening. It's kind of like that poor blood concept except this was not anybody's fault. Sucks. Just call how it is. So you already feel for the main character, really. Especially if you know somebody, maybe a relative, a parent, blah, 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 a friend that goes through the motions of going back and forth through hospitals and all that stuff. Anybody knows about me knows definitely I do. I'm not calling it a ploy to get you attached to the main character, but I have to say, it did hit strong, at least for me. But that aside, like I said, it's very much a comedy. Like the funniest moment, honestly, in this episode was the fact that they would talk to her about the Silver Tower and the Witch there, and they gave her the nickname, and they could bang their head on the table, just flabbergasted. Immediately ran her back up to her room, like, oh my god, they still remember that whack ass nickname I gave myself. See, the only legit nickname I legitimately gave myself as an online presence was Master Sale. And me going through the legal copyright and trademark offices that I did, I don't see myself regretting that. But there probably was things you was calling in the past that you probably look back on and... Well, I didn't go to my high school reunion. Anyways, yeah, that's really pretty much the episode. Because really, the, besides a lot of world building, understanding our main character, recognizing the place we're in, setting the tones, all that, episode really didn't do nothing. Like, if you had asked me what's the plot of this show, shit. It's one of those things that this is the isekai, we can't do this every day, right? Or maybe... This may be a good time to say that this show reminded me of that Banish Hero show I didn't watch. 
But I did like it. I liked the first episode. It gave me a lot to look forward to. Even though that answer to look forward to was nothing. I'm trying I'm starting to make this sound worse than what it is while I keep talking about it. I liked it. First impression was good. Shit. What you got to complain about? Our main character is reincarnated as a powerful ass. She has that freaking fairy thing running around protecting her. That fairy thing giving her direction. She has different weapons inside of her bag, ready to go. Also is reincarnated as a beast compared to her last night last life. She is a reincarnated as a big ass elf running around that green. This bitch thinks she linked. Fuck is a Zelda ripoff. Never mind y'all. Watch this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I will see y'all. Peace out. This Akai train continues. Spin move.